and welcome back to the Tomarosa here at Clover Mountain Dairy. Today it is a snow day. Stacy's been busy moving the snow away. We got about eight inches and I'm going to make some soap. So here is my disclaimer. I am not a professional commercial soap maker. We just had extra milk this spring when we had our cows calving and we didn't have enough to pasteurize yet to sell. So I looked for other ways to use up the milk. One of the things I found was making milk soap. So we did that and we use it here at our farm and we had some extra and so we sell it and some people asked, well, how do you do that? So I thought I'd make a video today about how we make milk soap. Here is the frozen milk. I just made basically milk cubes from it. Zero out the scale and then I need 535 grams. So that's a little bit over 535. That will work great. Okay, the next step, safety first. We're gonna be using lye, which you need to protect yourself from. And I've zeroed out the scale. I'm going to add the lye into the frozen milk. So 250 grams. I've also cracked the windows in here, even though it's cold outside. Maybe a little bit of smell. Okay, we have 250 grams of lye. The reason you add the lye to the milk is for safety reasons, to protect yourself. And then also, the reason the milk is frozen is because it forms a heat chemical reaction and it will start just melting. And so you just keep stirring it and moving around until it all melts. And as you can see, the lye is continuing to melt that frozen milk. And you just keep going until it's all melted. Once all this is melted, you're going to carefully add it into your oil mixture while blending at the same time. Now, I already did mix the orangish Brazilian clay with a little bit of the oil mixture with a mini whisk. And then I added it back into here before I'm adding the lye milk mixture. I just keep mixing until it comes to trace which means when you lift it out you can see some of it trace across the rest we're probably about halfway there it's definitely thickened up sometimes you can keep stirring other times you can give it a break if it's colder weather it will take a little bit longer to get to trace I poured in the essential oil it smells really nice in here and this is still Pretty much at a light trace you can see it kind of going across it's kind of cold today so I'll probably just go ahead and pour it these are just silicone molds I bought online it has been about 24 hours since I poured the soap into the mold. You can see it's solidified up. So I just take this part out of the wood and then push down on the corner and pull up and it just folds right on out. It's still a little soft so I just set it over here and I do my other one. And there are the two blocks of soap. These have now come out of the molds. They're still a little soft, so I'm not gonna cut them yet. I'm gonna wait another day. I just wanted to make sure when I cut them that they'll hold their shape, and that will be the next step. Welcome back. It's been a day or maybe two because I've been busy, and I'm gonna cut the soap. I just bought a regular little cutter. Some people you call them scrapers. And then I just use a ruler 
and I pre-notch one inch because that's how I decided I want my bars to be. Now that I have a mark on both sides of the soap, I just line those marks up. And as best as possible, I just push straight down. And there is the first bar of soap. Still really soft on the inside. And I put it on my piece of cardboard and let it dry. And I just keep going. Now if you make a lot of soap, or you want to make a lot of soap, they make soap cutters. Plus if it's not perfect, that's okay, because it's completely handmade. This is the soap I just cut, and I have a little cow head stamp, and I use that. I just bought that online. You just push it in, and depending on your stamp and the soap, you can do it as soon as you cut it, or you might want to wait another day. This is what it looks like. That's a pretty good impression. I'll probably wait another day maybe just so that it's not as soft in the middle. This is soap I did previously. And as you can see, I used a little, I don't know, wavy cutter. And cut the tops and the bottoms. But I've decided not to do that anymore because I feel like it really wastes a lot of soap. And I'd rather sell that soap instead of a smaller bar. After you have cut the soap, you are gonna wanna let it cure. The uh, lye is still active, meaning the pH of the soap isn't good. It can be harsh on your skin. Anytime you're working with it, you wanna wash your hands afterwards. After three to four weeks, it's all balanced out and you can go ahead and start using it or selling it. I wait four weeks just to be safe and there you have it. That is how we make milk soap here on Clover Mountain Dairy with our own organic milk. We hope that you enjoyed our video and I hope it inspires you to make some soap or seek out local made soap. There are a lot of people out there doing it. You shouldn't have any trouble and it's not rocket science. As long as you follow some basic rules and safety precautions, you can do it too. Thanks a lot for coming along and I'll see you next time.